Remember how everyone threw biting remarks towards Apple when they introduced the iPhone without the traditional audio jack? And now the same devices appear one after another from different manufacturers. Consumers, when they are deprived of something very familiar, are usually indignant at first. However, after a short indignation, we accept the progress even faster. Frankly speaking, the list of items which are likely to transform into dust catchers on your shelves can be endless. So we decided to limit our list to common things, which most of you use daily or at least a few times a week. Are you ready to abandon them tomorrow? Let's check together! Number 1. Credit and debit cards It is difficult to imagine right now, but in the nearest future, your plastic cards may disappear completely. While paper money has been gradually replaced by bank cards, the latter begin to lose grounds to near-field communication technology, or simply NFC payments. NFC is a short-range wireless high-frequency communication technology that provides non-contact data exchange between devices located at short distances, for example between a reading terminal and a cell phone or a plastic smart card. NFC work range does not exceed 4 inches length. You may treat this as a drawback, but you should not. Extremely short range, instant connection and sophisticated safety systems of NFC applications make skimming on the phone very tough. Potential thieves should be at a couple of inches proximity to skim your NFC microchip. The most popular NFC payment applications today are Apple Pay, Android Pay, Samsung Pay, Visa Pay Wave and MasterCard Pay Pass. All five are in intense competition right now, and they constantly improve the applicability of their contactless payment services. So what is wrong with a credit card? Well, in brief you carry a plastic in your wallet with its number and CVV security code. Should you be giving to the world so much information about your financials? Number 2. Dedicated GPS Navigation Devices The combination of GPS and Internet leaves traditional satellite navigators too few chances for survival. As quickly as dedicated GPS devices have gained popularity, their future had almost come to naught. While tablets and smartphones cope with the navigation excellently, more and more automakers tend to install onboard navigation systems even in low-cost cars. Garmin and other market leaders in portable GPS solutions try to provide a range of additional features into their products in order to keep the lights on. The approach may keep them afloat for a couple of years, but the overall outcome is inevitable. Smartphones have seized control over the world of GPS and navigation. In most cases, smartphones will do the navigation job better. They will calculate your position and provide alternative routes faster than a dedicated GPS device. And yeah, we almost forgot. Apple and Google Maps do it for free. Number 3. Mechanical door locks and physical keys That piece of brass that you always lose after having an extra glass of wine will finally go into obscurity. Perhaps this will not happen tomorrow, but in the nearest future. Even today many people already use integrated microchip in order to lock the door. Cards with a microchip have long been used in offices and hotels instead of keys. Rather soon, the doors of our apartments will be ready to open through a smartphone. The same innovation will touch automakers. Some producers already provide remote applications to lock and unlock cars with a smartphone, but a driver still needs a key to start the engine. In 2016, Volvo introduced their plans to deal with physical keys completely, that is, to abandon them at all. A special Volvo application on your phone will contain a digital key, performing any function of a physical one. What is more exciting about this technology is that you can have several keys on a single phone. Besides, imagine yourself arriving to the airport and going straight to the parking lot where your rental car is awaiting for you. You will avoid lengthy lines, because once you booked a car, the personal digital key was sent to your phone. Seriously, with face recognition approaching and microchips, a key has no chance. Number 4. Fixed Line Phone it is only a matter of time when the joint forces of cellular and internet technologies will finally drive a nail into the coffin of a traditional landline network. For many years, our families enjoyed both types of services. Traditional landline telephones were used as an emergency connection or for the dial-up internet. Most American consumers under the age of 30 do not see any reason to pay for both the landline and the mobile operator services. Currently, about 70% of young people in the US do not have fixed phones at all. Nearly 60% of American households do not own a landline phone. You may be already composing a biting remark in your thoughts 
for example, that landlines will always be in use regardless of innovations. Well, fixed networks will stay afloat in healthcare or for security and emergency purposes. However, a traditional phone is already dead for the public at large. Number 5. Passwords Many of us prefer to divide passwords regarding the importance of the visited website. Most users will come up with a complicated password for a bank account or for a Facebook page. At the same time, you will certainly choose an easier password to make a one-time purchase at the online store of shoes accessories. An average user keeps in mind about 15 passwords that protect his or her computer, smartphone, bank cards, email accounts, and social networks. Passwords have become a memory-stressing source of inconvenience, especially now when service providers require their visitors to invent complex passwords that include a combination of upper and lower case letters and digits. In the nearest future, you will not need to remember a single password. In 2018, even inexpensive smartphones are equipped with a fingerprint scanner that not only unlocks the device, but also opens access to applications and allows one-touch payments. We do agree that fingerprint scanning has its own drawbacks both in terms of convenience and in terms of security. Most likely, it is just a short-term platform for consumers to adapt to biometric authentication devices. The future belongs to retinal scanners. Apple has already introduced its first Face ID smartphone, so it will take just a few years for biometrics to conquer the market. Today gadgets are becoming smaller, faster and more powerful. The life cycle of technological innovations is constantly shrinking. These are the realities of the 21st century. While it is hard to predict which novelty will start a new fashion and which one will sink into oblivion in a couple of years, any product will sooner or later face the need to either adapt to progress or to give up. Which of the lists above, in your opinion, will disappear first? We think that dedicated GPS won't make it even for three more years. If you do not agree, please share your predictions below. What is not going to disappear for sure is the next interesting video on our channel. Do not miss it, do not forget to hit that subscribe button.